What up guys, I'm pretty excited to bring you this video. I saw how well the Fnatic crate unboxing went. A company called AWDIT actually contacted me. They offered to build me a completely custom PC. I was like, yes. And they also offered to send me another PC just to give away to you guys. So this is gonna be fun. AWDIT are actually a UK based company, UK represent. So I think it's time to unbox these beauties and see what they've actually sent me. So like I mentioned, we have two PCs right here. One is a giveaway PC that I'm going to give completely away to you guys. Well, technically, I'm not giving away to you guys. AWDIT, in partnership with Gigabyte Auros, they're giving away to you guys. Check out the beautiful Gigabyte Auros motherboard banner thing they sent me right here. It's so nice. So as you can see, I've kind of half opened these already, but I haven't really fully opened them. This one with the GeForce GTX 1070 is going to be my custom made PC, very nice. And this one is going to be the giveaway PC with a GTX 1060, very sick indeed. It's come in this box right here, I had a sneaky little preview of it already. This is the PC they built me guys, beast your eyes. Oh my god, it's heavy. It's so heavy. There we go. This is the PC they very, very kindly built me. I still need to get some of the insides out. As you can see, they wrapped it pretty carefully because they had to transport it all the way from England to the Netherlands. You can also see right here that they put my, my custom logo on this tempered glass right here, which looks absolutely sick. Thank you so, so much. Let's open it up. Have a look inside. And it's not a sliding one, it just pulls straight out. And that's sick. Isn't that sick? It's got green liquid cooling in it, which looks really, really awesome. I can't wait to see what it looks like when we've turned this thing on. The case we have right here apparently is the Fantex M through Pro M glass. I'm guessing that's uh, to do with the tempered glass side right here. The power supply down here is the Corsair. RM650 as you can see right here on the side. I love how the PSU is just completely isolated from everything else. CPU is an i7 which is overclocked to 5 gigahertz. This is going to be the fastest CPU I have ever owned in my whole life. The current graphics card in it is a 1070 8 gigabyte which is very very sick as you can see it is a monster taking up a lot of the case right there next to all the very cool green liquid cooling. The motherboard is the Gigabyte Auros Z270X as you can see on this beautiful Gigabyte Auros board right here. I've always been a massive massive fan of Gigabyte motherboards I'm pretty sure there's one in I think every single PC in this room right now so this I think is one of the latest most upgraded versions I'm really looking forward seeing what this bad boy can handle. The RAM in it is DDR4. There are four sticks, all are four gigabyte each, which brings a total of 16 gigabyte in this machine. The cooling apparently is all custom made for me, which is absolutely amazing. It's an acrylic loop, which uh, I specifically requested. In terms of hard drives and storage space, we have the Samsung M2 256 gigabyte, which I presume I'm probably gonna be using as my boot drive. I haven't actually had any experience with these type of hard drives. They're like directly plug into the motherboard and they're really, really small. So I'm really excited to try that as well. They're meant to be even faster than the conventional SSD. That's also not it when it comes to storage. Obviously, you can't just have 256 gigabyte in a computer nowadays. So we have another three terabyte. I'm not even sure where it is because the cable management in this thing is so, so good and everything's hidden away so, so well. I don't even know. There's a three terabyte Toshiba. It's going to be so good for storing all those kind of raw, uncut movie files that I constantly have to deal with on a daily basis. And this, guys, is the PC that you should be more interested in. This is the PC that AWD IT have hooked me up with in partnership with Gigabyte Auros and we are going to give this thing to you completely free. I've also got a stack of these mouse mats right here that I haven't given away yet and I'll definitely be throwing in one. Maybe if you guys want me to sign it or something, I don't know, I'll throw it in anyway. So let's unbox this one. Let's hope this one's not as heavy as my one. Oh, it's not as heavy. Nice. Okay, and it's white. I like it. We're going to have to take out all the packaging that they very carefully put in it. And this case comes with another very beautiful tempered glove side which I'm trying hard not to break. So this is the giveaway PC, guys. As you can see, there is so, so much space. You could do so many things with this PC. I mean, if you wanted liquid cooling in this thing, there's plenty of space to put that in. This case is the Fantex P400S, looking very, very sleek in white. Obviously, it's got all your little 
USBs and headsets and everything built into it. It comes with a 500 watt power supply if you actually uh, picked a more powerful graphics card. However, on the site they would give you a 650 watt power supply. The processor in this thing is an Intel i5 at 3.5 gigahertz, which is pretty much what my current PC has in it already. The graphics card in it is an Nvidia GeForce 1060 Mini right here, which takes up a lot less space than the one in my custom built. The motherboard in it, once again, is another gigabyte, obviously the best motherboards. It is a B250 HD3P and obviously does not take up that much space in the case, as you can see. The RAM in it is DDR4 and there is eight gigabyte of it two four gigabyte sticks right there. Cooler is an Arctic Freezer i11 right here, looking very nice. I think the airflow in this PC is just gonna be fantastic. As you can see, all goes out that way, pushes all the heat from the CPU right out the case, and there is so, so much space for airflow. I don't think you're gonna have any problems with overheating with this thing whatsoever. And the hard drive in it is a whole one terabyte, which should be sufficient for absolutely everyone's needs. And obviously, if you wanted to put in an optional SSD boot drive or something like that, it would be really easy, really simple. Once, what I really, really love about what AWD IT have done is that whole cases, they just completely isolate off the PSU here, and they give you so much space. Also, the cable management is the best cable management I think I have ever seen scene in my life like everything just disappears in the back it's so clean and it's so sleek AWDIT are actually selling this PC on their website and it's actually cheaper to buy from AWDIT than it is to build yourself which is pretty crazy I don't know how they even make profit on this the PC also comes with some very very cool LEDs they're really really hard to find because they're just like tiny little LED strips but you can see one down the side here and I'm pretty sure if we take off the front yeah, there we go. There's also some LEDs down there. So this thing, when it's turned on at night, is going to look so, so nice. The current price of this on AWD IT site is $709.99. But if you actually want to purchase this thing, if you're unfortunate enough not to win the giveaway and you still really, really want it, you can use the code SPARKLES and you get a £50 discount off, which brings the price down to around £650. For a PC like this, is amazing. The Gigabyte motherboard in this supports up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, which honestly is an insane amount. I don't know why you'd ever, ever need that much RAM. As you can see, there's also space in this case for multiple GPUs, if that's kind of your thing. There's space in this case for pretty much anything you'd ever want to do with it. There's so much room for expansion. It is such a good starter base PC if you wanted a good capable gaming PC that can pretty much just play any game you like with the ability to upgrade it in any way you like. So skip forward to the evening now guys because I really want to see these beautiful, beautiful PCs in their natural dark environment. Most of my time spent gaming is in like the pitch black dark. I put the two PCs side by side. This is my new one that AWD IT in partnership with Gigabyte Aorus have given me. Thank you so, so much. And this is my old one right here. As you can see straight away, my old one just looks absolutely terrible in comparison to my new one. It is so incredibly dusty. Um, I think the side, it's not even being held on. It just falls off. There's a wire sticking out the case that isn't even connected. And if you can see all the cable management here, this is all my own beautiful doing. <laughs> it is just one big mess. Not good for airflow whatsoever. I think uh, on the back, it doesn't even have a back panel right here for the motherboard, so the airflow is really suffering. This, in comparison, just looks like an absolute dream. Like, there's, there's no cables anywhere. It's so clean, it's so professional. So let's turn it on, it's in the dark, and uh, see what she looks like. Time to turn off the lights, power her on. I asked specifically for a green theme, because as you can see, I've kind of set my LEDs over there on my desk to green and my chair behind this banner. That's green too, so I'm rocking with the green theme. So when this thing goes on, I'm hoping it's gonna be all green. Let's do it. Ooh, that is sexy, that is sexy. There's a lot of green lights in there and you can even see the little bubbles here going through the liquid cooling, which is super cool. It's also incredibly quiet in comparison to my last computer. That's probably because of the liquid cooling. I've never really had liquid cooling 
in a PC before, but it's, it's like practically silent. It's got LED fans right here in the front as well. They look very sick. It's not just the side that you can completely see through. I can't get over how good the cable management is. They told me on the motherboard that you can actually change the colors of the LEDs on the motherboard, which is pretty crazy. So if I actually wanted to switch up my theme at any time, I could do that. Now it's time to test the lights of this one, guys. This is going to be one of your PCs. I've been told this one has a blue theme, so I'm going to change those back LEDs right there to fit in with the blue theme because I'm just a super nerd like that. So let's go. Blue LEDs. Nice. It looks good. See how sick he looks. Let's do it. Ooh, that is nice. That's really nice. That's like a a UV kind of theme there. There's so much illumination here from the LED strips that actually get hidden just by the side of the case. So they're not like blinding or anything, just when it's from a normal perspective. But that just illuminates all the components over here really, really nicely. And as you can see down here, it's got a little glowing front as well. So I think that is enough time looking at the lights right here. I think it's time to fire them up and uh, actually connect them to some monitors and test them out and see what they can do. Okay, so we've just hooked it up there on my desk. It looks super, super sick. One thing I should mention is the first 20 orders, not of this one, but of the giveaway one, which is right down there. The first 20 orders of that one will receive a brand new headset for free, brand new mouse for free from Gigabyte, and the best part, clearly, one of my Sparkles mouse mats right here for free. And also this little etching down here, my, uh, my custom logo on this tempered glass. I've been told AWDIT are actually gonna offer that as well as a service so you can customize your PC even more. It's not just for, uh, you know, the retarded YouTubers. So I just installed CS on this thing and fired it up and it is performing incredibly well. Obviously, they built me an exceptional PC right here. It's maintaining a very stable kind of 300 FPS, which is the max FPS that you can kind of get in this game normally, I think. So, that's sick. No performance issues whatsoever. Obviously, the only thing lacking is my aim, but uh, that's always lacking, so don't worry about that too much, guys. So I think it's time to fire up my second favorite game at the moment, which is Overwatch, and see how it performs on that. One thing I forgot to mention, when I was playing CS is that obviously I had all the settings on high and it was still maintaining a very stable 300 FPS. I have just changed all the settings in Overwatch right now to high and I've got the FPS display up here. So let's see what this bad boy can do. One thing I've just noticed is the loading times on this thing are ridiculous. It's literally like it was just instantly in. As soon as it found the game, it was just instantly, instantly in. And everything looks actually a lot better on this PC than on my PC. Everything looks a lot, lot smoother and a lot more detailed. So let's see what kind of FPS we can get with these ultra high quality settings on. We're getting a good 160-ish right here, which is pretty decent, 150, 160 and everything is on ultra. I think the human eye doesn't really notice anything over 100, is it? I'm not quite sure. I'm sure a lot of you are gonna correct me in the comments about that one. How many people are we gonna hit with the spawn ball, guys? Ah, one. Well, I've just been playing Overwatch and Counter-Strike all on high settings and all of the temperatures are still super, super low. They're all in the 40s, which is incredible, to be honest. My other computer easily got up to the 70s. So we have plugged in here the giveaway PC. This is going to go to one of you lucky, lucky guys. I have put all the settings right here on high. So let's go ahead and jump into a Dust 2. Turn on that graph and see what kind of... FPS we are getting. So yeah, this PC is performing very, very well for a, a semi-budget gaming PC. If you don't want to be spending thousands and thousands, and uh, you want to be getting killed by Bot Lester, then this is your PC. Everything is on ultra and high here, and it is still performing very well. So I've just fired up Overwatch here, and I, oh, I don't want to exit the game. I have turned everything up here to ultra, which is very nice, best graphic settings possible. So let's see what kind of stable FPS we can uh, hold in Overwatch. And here on Dorado, everything on Ultra, this feels very, very smooth. But once again, uh, staying above a 150 FPS, pretty much exactly the same as my personally built system was, which is really, really nice. It's using uh, about 900 megabyte of VRAM here, 
we got 14 ping and the temperatures obviously I think are a little bit hotter on this PC that will be given away but that's because it doesn't have liquid cooling but obviously anything with this, within this temperature range is uh, still very good. You won't really encounter any performance issues either. So this has definitely passed the Overwatch test once again. We're going to have a little bit of a mess about here, get into battle and see if all the explosions, the effects and everything like that affect the FPS negatively in any way. And we're still easily above 100 here. Lots of effects going on. Shooting the Zarya shields. I know I shouldn't be doing that, guys, but I'm just doing it anyway for the lols. And the FPS still stays incredibly stable. Stays way above 100. And uh, good performance. All right, guys, that pretty much sums up the video. I'm, uh, I'm holding this PC right now because I don't really want to give it away. I want to keep it, but I have to give it away to you guys. I have to. I want to give a massive, massive shout out to AWD IT and Gigabyte Aurus for actually making this all possible. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, obviously it is completely free. It costs absolutely nothing whatsoever. I will put the link down in the description below. There'll just be a little box you have to fill out with basic details and then hit submit and you'll be in for a chance of winning this beautiful PC for absolutely no. Thanks a lot for watching guys, take it easy and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.